Yeah, I mean, I was with him. Uh, I played against him every year twice the last three years. And then, uh, funny enough, early in my career when I was even in Detroit, it seemed like I played against him every single year. Uh, I know I can remember at least two or three times going into New England. I know I had him on Thanksgiving one night uh, or one uh, afternoon in Detroit. So I played against him quite a bit, and I enjoyed playing against him. I had a lot of fun, got some sacks, and look forward to repeating some of those uh, things, and especially my the last time we played him, in, or I played him in Miami last year. I want to have take some of that success and bring it to the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, probably the most stand uh, one, the most notable one that stands out was was on Thanksgiving. Uh, throwback jerseys in Detroit. Uh, got a sack on him. Actually, have a picture of that uh, up in, or I think it's actually that that is actually in my mom's house. Yeah. Uh, personally, I haven't had that feeling that it wouldn't come together. Just from the simple fact that all guys on the team, in my opinion, are very humble, hardworking, uh, and and want to have an opportunity to be successful. So, uh, regardless of what somebody's draft status was, or how much they've been paid, or whatever it may be. Uh, I think guys throw that all out the window when we step in between those white lines, and even when we step into the uh, to the building, uh, nobody cares. And Coach McVay's big thing is we, not me, and everybody embraced that, and has continued to embrace that, and that's why I think we're we're, we're at where we're at right now. I think the biggest thing that makes uh, Wade great is the opportunity that he's had so many different athletes around him that have played at, that have been very elite. He knows how to get along with pretty much every type of personality. Uh, and I've enjoyed interacting with him and him putting me in great situations, especially throughout these playoffs, to be successful and uh, just taking and seizing the moments. Yeah, he, def he definitely does. I mean, I, I think that's evident on the film. Uh, and it's just us, up to us as the defensive players to go out there and execute. Yeah, his personality is definitely uh, funny uh, and a little dry humor, uh, but he's overall a good dude and, and definitely hip to the, to the new age things as well as old school ways. Mm hmm I mean, I, how I would look at it, it, it's not that big of a deal, especially when I went into Detroit. Kyle Vandenbosch was a huge name, had to respect him, had to learn from him, loved learning from him. Same as Corey Williams. Uh, and then even coming into when uh, my further years in Detroit, you got uh, Nick Fairley, Ziggy Ansa playing at a high level, Jason Jones, uh, Glover Quinn. Um, so there's a lot of personalities there, as well as going to Miami, Cam Wake, uh, all the different guys. So... How I look at it, it's not a big deal. It's a, it's a great opportunity to play next to elite players uh, and really have a lot of success. And uh, I think that's one of the reasons why we're at where we're at right now. Uh, I think it's focus in, in executing our game plan. Uh, I think once we stop the run uh, and take care of that business uh, and have the opportunity to, to make it a, a one-dimensional offense, we'll have the opportunity to get after Brady as much as we want. Uh, I think their run game has been very successful. That's why they've been able to be uh, to hold back from getting a lot of sacks and different things like that, uh, as well as Tom is very good at getting the ball out. Um, and it's a matter of just us, like I said, taking care of business, getting after the run game, and then being able to get after the passer after that. Mm -hmm. uh, it was close. Uh, I wanted to take a visit there. Uh, I had some good conversations with Todd Boyles uh, and the defensive staff, but uh, some things fell apart and uh, kind of went from there. Yep. I think it's uh, very important. I think it's been consistent theme. That's how our defense has played throughout the um, 
particular year. Uh, going back to big games like Thursday night football against Minnesota, you got John Franklin, strip sack, um, Aaron Donald in Detroit, uh, and whatnot. And then obviously you have um, Dante Fowler, Fowler, excuse me, against the Saints. And uh, guys just got to go out there and execute, and when they have an opportunity, take their shots and make big plays.